right, guys and gals. Today is the unveiling of the mullet machine. And it sounds like it's running in my garage. Back on it. Bo, what are you doing? Get your mangy butt out of my car. Hey, hey, Tom, man, you home, bro? Oh my god, man. Whose car is that? Golly. Look at that. Holy potatoes, man. Oh, man. Hey, it's got old Bo's name written on it, boy. Oh my god, she got the old... Look at that. She got the wand of power right there, boy. Man, I swear to god, these things just... Man, I love it. Long hair don't care, man. I'll tell you, he's my kind of ride, boy. I wonder if it's ruined. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Boy, she sound good, don't you, boy? Well, she, hey, don't tell Tom, man. Sound like she got a few berries in her, boy. What I'm talking about. Man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, Todd, man. It, it ain't what it looks like, bro. I swear to God. Hey, look, man. Um, I, them ain't your sunglasses. I was just... Um, I come over here, man. Um, hold on a second. I'll get out your car, man. Well, hey man, what happened was, um, I was gonna come for a wrench. Bo, son, I don't care what you're doing, but you're interrupting a video right now, bud. Come on. Okay, well, I have to ask you, are you even using the bathroom at your house anymore? My water bill went up 10 bucks last month. Man, I, hey. I don't know why your toilet bill went up that much. Man, I only use it one time. And I saw your video about the boo day. Yes, I saw the video. You used it twice right then. You just said one more ride at the end of that video. Okay, two times. Uh, okay, man. I didn't know you had cameras, man. I'm sorry. I, I, they shut off my water again. Hey, man, can I be on the show, man? Bo, buddy, you're going to have to go. I got to do this stuff. I got stuff to do. And uh, I'll, I'll take you for a ride sometime this summer, okay? All right. See you later, bud. Man, hey, dude, look, I can be like a model for this car, dude. This car right here, this is what I scream, son. This is me right here. About caught my hair on fire with that one right there, boy. Oh. Look. Can I just be in your show, though? I mean, just one time? I just want to, can I drive it? I know, I know. It's winter, but will you really, man? Will you take me and drive this summer? You you swear, man? Don't don't say you will and then you don't, okay? You promise, dude? You take me for a ride in this thing? Man, look at this pretty car. Hey, man, all your tires even match. You gotta be the fanciest one in this whole neighborhood, boy. I swear to God, this is mine. She's pretty. Man, I look good in that driver's seat. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. I'll make you a solid deal right now. I'll trade you CZ7 for it. Straight up. Probably have to have cash on your end though. Man, I drove that thing straight to Columbus. I drove to Columbus and back. It's a good one. Yeah, I probably couldn't trade. About to be summertime anyway, you know. But. Whatever, dude, you know. All right, man, well, 
Since I can't talk you out of your wheels, I'm gonna talk you out of them yet, man. I swear, man. Old Bo come back. We'll, we'll come back. It's tax time. I, old Bo got some money. Thanks all them six, seven kids I got. But, uh, we'll come back. But, hey, man, I'm gonna hold you to it, man. You gotta take me for a ride in this bad thing, okay? All right, man. I, I guess I'll get going. All right, man. Well, hey. I'll see you later, Molly Machine. Man, did you see that bumper? It's like my hairdo, son. All right, man. All right, guys. Now, for the unveiling of the mullet machine, bow free. And there she is. She's all laid out. Now, the only thing that we got left to do, actually, I bought new marker lights. I was unwrapping those, and I was like, you know what? Let's just get new. I want to get smoked ones. So I'm going to replace those. And, I'm sorry, not those. These with the smoked ones and uh, also the hockey stripe. We also have the IROC Z that goes down here. I don't want to do too much to make it all clash. We're going to see what's what. The hockey stripe is absolutely going to go down the side, especially since this hood, I mean, just look at that, dude. And this thing has greasy old paw prints all over it for me. And, uh, but, this thing is so pretty right now, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Like, you see how dirty it is in there where I've been tracking in and out? The reason why it's dirty is, I'm afraid to take my shop back and rub against this paint. For good reason, I mean, it's still soft, so to speak. But, I'm afraid to get back there and um, have that rub across the paint that's brand new. So, Anyway, every time I come in, Bo is doing something. But anyway, that's enough about Bo. Anyway, he uh, he's special. But we put the IROC decals on it now, as far as down here in the rockers. Remember how I told you that this thing was gonna have a special decal? It does. Are you ready for this? Just look at that. You can get that custom made off of eBay. That is absolutely right. I wish I had the guy's name and I don't have service down in this daggone garage. If you want, he sells the Tuneport emblems, okay? That says Tuneport injection, all that. Um, and then he has a separate one that says custom. As you can tell, that's the exact same font and everything. And it's like perfect. I'm actually trying to talk this fella into uh, making me one for my S10 where it says 2.8. I wanted to say 5.3, but I want the factory looking style badge. So I got to get him measurements yet. Anyway, so the, this is the mullet machine and I couldn't be happier. This thing turned out like glass. We did have like a few little bloopers. Nothing I'm really too ultimately concerned with. The next step on this, we got to schedule and get the top put on. My back seat is supposed to be done this week or next, hopefully. And uh, we got an exhaust system we're going to be putting on. And if you saw it in the background, I'll just give you guys a little teaser episode, okay? So, we're going to, we have to fix at least the water gauge and find out how to dial in this gauge cluster for the transmission and rear end. Where we did all that swapping, that thing is uh, only majorly off. And I would like it to be within 5 or 10. That would be great. If it was dead on, it would be even better. But we switched the gear ratio from a 273 to a 342 but i don't know what little gear was in the transmission i'm almost thinking it was a 273 little you know what i mean maybe it's way off that's all i'm saying but um the next video you see hopefully 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 we're installing our lift right in here ish because uh 
we're tired of working without a lift. I mean, it's time to see what one of those is all about. And on this lift, we're gonna do one of these. Did you guys know that they make a cherry bomb that looks like a Flowmaster? I actually had no idea. None whatsoever. Um, so, I come across that accidentally on eBay, maybe? I think eBay had it. Putting away tools while I'm talking to you fellers and fellas. So, I think eBay had it for like 70 bucks with shipping or something. And the Amazonian site, it like listed it, but it didn't have a price like they discontinued it. Apparently it's been around for like 12 years. I had no idea. But what better muffler on an IROG Z than a cherry bomb? I mean, that's just 80s all over it, isn't it? 80s, 70s, whatever, you know. But everybody liked that kind of muffler. And I'm curious, it actually sounded good on the little video that I watched on um, the YouTube video. It looked, it sounded really good. So, um, we're going to do that, fix the gauge clusters, oh, and tighten the steering wheel where it's got that floppy stuff in it. So stay continued for that. If you guys get a GM column that has a bunch of slop like this in it, see how it moves? I'm gonna show you how to fix that because that can be dangerous. And if you're gonna have, if you're gonna have these cars, man, you might as well take care of them. Um, if you guys wanna go ahead and preemptively buy the tool, there's a pivot pin puller that you'll have to get. It's like 12 bucks at any parts store. So I actually bought two because I forgot that I bought one and then I ordered one on the Amazonian side. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm proud to say that this sucker, I mean, do you see that? I have not cut, buffed, or anything on this car. And it just, she shines like a brand new penny. You can see everything, and it's every panel like that on this. Um, and this has been going on for the last, uh, oh gosh, you guys know how long we've been doing body work on this car and how long we've been working on this car. Pretty much since we started like three years ago. Now we've had other projects, a heck of a lot of projects in between, but this one right here, there's been, you know, a lot of uh, sanding, <laughs> a lot of sanding on this car that was like behind the scenes. It wasn't one night, wasn't two nights. It was a butt ton of sanding. It was a butt ton of everything. Um, body work and trying to get everything as flat and square as we could. Um, again, I want to thank everybody that helped me in it. Uh, the Napa and Waverly, you guys are absolutely fantastic. Um, I'll absolutely be back probably very, very soon because I got to get Mama Blue paint. And then, uh, you know, we might accidentally need something for that one. But that might be at least a week or two. Yeah, at least. So we're going to see how that goes. And um, but that's going to be a fun project also. Stick around for that one. It's going to get a heck of a lot better with that. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, so far, I'm not going to lie, I am in love with this car now. I really, really liked it before. Now I just can't wait for summertime to happen and get here. Because this puppy is just... Oh, and I have this out because these little lights that go in there are halogen bulbs they are teeny tiny and they are 10 bucks a piece i'm going to look on the amazonian site yep to look for a more cost efficient one because there's five of them that's 50 bucks for those little teeny tiny lights i don't know if i have any setting out I... nope well, I was going to show you how tiny they are. They are like this tall and they have little legs on them. Ridiculous to spend that kind of money on a little tiny light bulb. That's actually a particular pet peeve of mine whenever I see these cars and I see one or two burned out. I hate seeing that third brake light back there not work. So every IROC that I've ever had has had those to work. 
even though it's expensive, it seems worth it to me. Now, I will tell you this, I had to readjust the fiberglass hood. Not really too happy. Um, it has a slight up, but this was hitting the wiper. This is just barely clearing the hood now. And yeah, not happy about it, but at least it clears the hood and we can move on and go to something else, right? So kind of is what it is. The other side cleared really easy. I just put two washers underneath the back side of it and uh, it cleared it up. This one has four and it might, I don't know if it's, I'm actually gonna have to kick on the wipers to see if it rubs. Cause I definitely, it kind of feels like it's on it. I might have to put one more on it, my goodness. So it might end up with five wipe, uh, washers rather than four which is just the berries. Anyway, guys, that's this. I mean, just look at that. Just look at it. So pretty. And uh, it just got a whole heck of a lot better. We got our LEDs in. There's episodes on that. Look at that. I mean, just, I am in love with it. I thought that it come out absolutely gorgeous. I might be partial to it. I mean, it is my car. Let me know what you guys think. And just keep in mind one thing, guys. And this is the thing you really need to remember when you're doing these cars. These cars were never perfect from the factory. Never perfect from the factory. This car, never perfect from the factory. That one, never perfect from the factory. I promise you, these cars built back then were absolutely positively built with imperfections they didn't have the technology they do now the cars nowadays are pretty square i mean they're pretty lined up and all now if you look at one of these you're going to see a whole lot of man that just don't fit right for multiple reasons one these quarter panels i am 100 percent sure from the factory that they just hacked them been over this corner and just tack welded it you know and like i don't know 10 or 15 places all the way down through here why do you think we have this cap here because it's hiding crappy body work it really is <sighs> not my crappy body work i just want to say i mean it's hiding the factories they're like ah, just throw a cap on it it'll be fine and uh match it into the spoiler yeah yeah there we go i'm telling you guys don't beat yourself up do the best you can do though. Do the best you can do. There's no reason why you can't. Um, that's why they make YouTube channels, right? So somebody may have figured something out that you couldn't figure out. And uh, if you guys need the description for the thing down there with the letters, magic, uh, let me know. I'll try to remember and put it somewhere down there or just get on eBay and type in tune port injection decal or something. I think that's what I typed in and it'll pop right up. Okay. And, uh, we're going to get to enjoy this car this summer. Absolutely. And I cannot wait guys. Thanks so much on this journey. This has been a long road to hope, but we got there. And, uh, I just want to thank everyone for your comments, Lugnut, all of you guys, Delmer, Everybody that mentioned something that worked, I appreciate it so much. You guys have no idea. Uncle Joe, my aunt, not plain so Jane. I love you guys. See, I told you I wouldn't say plain Jane no more. That one didn't count. I was saying that I wouldn't say it. But anyway, I'm going to call it a night. It's been a great night. We got everything squared away finally. Then we're going to get done tonight at least. So you guys have a good one. If you don't mind, just a real quick, you know, Yo, like, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Tell your friends. And uh, it just got a heck of a lot better. We see you guys next time here on Right Turn Garage TV.